Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about external sharing. As you see, I have a document here, the personal policy, that I would like to share with external users. I could, of course, create a new account for them, but that would incur a recurring cost to my Office 365 subscription. And um, that might not be what you want. You might want to avoid those costs. So another way to get input instead of sending the document, of course, is to actually share the document where it is. That, of course, enables you to keep the metadata, to do workflows, all those other things that we've shown in these demos on the document. So it's better to keep it where it is, but share it with somebody. And you can do that by clicking share here or the other get a link that actually does similar things. So let's start by clicking share. And as you see, you can invite people to that specific document. Let's compare that. Let's close that down for now. Let's compare that with this share button up here, which of course shares the whole site. So it's very important to keep track of what you're sharing. So if you share the whole site, that's totally different, of course, than sharing one document. In either case, you can share both the team site and the document with external users. So I'm going to share the whole site with a Microsoft account that I've created. So I'm going to enter that email address. So this is a Microsoft account and it's outlook.com. And you can see that this is outside of your organization. And a Microsoft account is, of course, free. And you can connect such a Microsoft account to any email address that you already have. So uh, that's re really powerful. Down here, you see the options. It's very important to check the options. Send an email invitation, that's a good thing to do. And also, which permission level do you want to give this user? Usually, uh, members is an appropriate level, but you might also want to send them the read permissions if they only should be able to read the documents. So let's give this user the edit permission. And I'm going to share that now. And of course, an email goes out. Now, if I check the share button here, you see you have the shared with, you'll notice that I don't have this user in the list. Even if I go into advanced, I will not see that I've shared this with my KDemo Contoso. If I check permissions on this same account now, you'll see that even though I invited that user to be a member, it's not showing up here and I even get a strange error message here. So let's go to Microsoft Edge where I'm logged in as the KDemo account. And of course, I got that invitation there now. So I'll click on that and I'll sign in with my Microsoft account. And I'm already logged in in this browser, so I won't get a login. Then I'll be sent directly to the site. And here I am logged into the site. Let's now go back to my logged in as me and check the permission again. So what effectively happened there was that I, as the KDemo account, accepted the invite. So let's check that now. And as you see, I, I have team site members. I have edit and limited access through the team site members group. So that's what happens. So this accepting the invite is very important because at that stage, you will see that the, the person is actually a member of the site. So let's jump over to Edge and see what I can do here. I'll go into the documents and look at the personnel policy document. And of course, I can now edit the document both in Word and edit in browser. Let's just highlight that. There we go. And go out of the document. Now it's saved already. And of course, when I go in Internet Explorer here now and check it, I'll see that it was um, modified a few seconds ago by Kedemo Contoso, that user. And of course, get the change also. So that's one way of sharing information to external users. And again, one of the important points here is that I don't pay anything for this KDemo user. That's all included in my Office 365, the ability to do external sharing. Now, another option to share documents is to get a link. And that only shares this specific document without me having to do unique permissions on that document. So I can invite people to that document. And here I can select what they can do with it. They can edit or they can view. I can also get a link here 
and have an edit link when they, with no sign in required, then of course they just need to know the link. So you have quite a few op options here. You can have the view link, you can have the edit link uh, without or with sign in required. And you can also of course see which ones you've already shared this with. So let's uh, open uh, a, an edit link with no sign in required. I'll create that link and then I'll just copy that link there. And an important thing about this is of course you set an expiration. Now I'll go in in my Edge browser. I'll open a new in private window. Now of course in the in private window I'm not logged in so I'll open this uh, link which is an edit link guest access and now I'm um, allowed to edit in the browser. And I'll make a change again. Let's make that blue like that. Okay. Hardly readable, but that's not the point. And as you see, I'm a guest contributor now. So I can't go to the rest of the site. I have no idea which site um, it belongs to really well. I can see this K demo, but I can't go back to the site. So the only thing I can do are the, the I can print it, but that's about it. So that's how you use a anonymous guest contributor sharing. Let's go back to my team site, close this now and refresh. And I'll see that the guest contributor has modified that. Of course, I can follow this through the version history and see exactly what's been going on with the document. So first I made two edits, then the KDemo Contoso, and finally the guest contributor. So in this demo, I've showed you how to share the entire site with somebody, with an external user, a Microsoft account. And I've also showed you how to share a specific document with login or without login. And I've also showed you how the version history applies to that and you can still track what's going on, of course. Thank you for watching this demo. In the next one, I will go through a specific kind of external sharing that is the Excel survey. Thank you for watching this demo.